just to um, remind you, if you're putting up your computers and what have you, um, just search this up on Google and it'll be the first or second result that's the Border Studies website. And it's a, um, a three page PDF and it'll be good to refer to that in a second. We're moving into MM2. There's actually something in MM1 that I'm going to leave off for um, next week and I'll explain why later. So you remember when we drew that mind map yesterday and I left one of the bubbles empty. We'll, we'll come back to that in due time. But I want to do some of these things under MM2, which is, if you like, you can write this down. Uh, MM2 is applications of perimeter, area, and volume. Applications of... Perimeter, area, and volume. And you might remember these back from when we did the metric units of measurement, yeah? These are about one dimensional, two dimensional, and three dimensional space measurements, yeah? So we're starting off with perimeter. Now, perimeter is super simple to begin with, which is why actually today we're going to do two exercises, which is why I, um, I left off the review questions. You guys know I have this fixation on um, names and that kind of thing. Meter is just what you put on any word when you want to measure something. Does anyone know what this prefix peri means? Peri? <laughs> if you're not thinking about Portuguese food, um, what, what kinds of words do we have like peri in? Submarines, anyone? Submarines. What, what, what does submarines have? Periscope. They have a periscope, right? Um, Another word which admittedly is not that common, but it'll help you, um, help you, <laughs> as hungry as I am, no. Um, the pericardium is a part of your body. It's, um, yeah, that's right. It's a sheath that goes around your heart, actually. And in fact, that's what peri means. It means around, which is why a periscope is what helps you see around something that's in your way, okay? So hence, perimeter, that's why we measure around an object. That's all it means, okay? Now, for most objects you're going to be, most shapes you're going to be measuring, triangles, uh, rectangles, quadrilaterals of any kind, in fact, polygons of any kind, all you're doing is you're just adding up all of the lengths, yeah? The only important one that seems a bit different to that is the perimeter of a circle. It has a special name, right? What's the perimeter of a circle? The circumference. So the circumference, the length measured around a circle, it's the only one that's special because, well, it doesn't have straight edges that I can add up. We have a formula for this, and it's on the formula data sheet, which is why I wanted you to refer it. So you know where to look for it if you're ever looking for it. Does anyone remember what it is? 2 pi r. Okay. Now, I'm just going to take this opportunity to, even though it's not what we're looking at today, we are going to look at it tomorrow. Um, I am going to take this opportunity to remind you, well, the circumference formula and the area formula are very, very closely related. They, they look very similar and they're easy to confuse. Does anyone know? Yeah, it's pi r squared. Now, the helpful way that I have, like, I mean, you can see, they even have the same numbers in them, they're just slightly configured differently. Uh, the way I remember which one is which is that when you think about area, Right? What kinds of units do we associate with area? Like square centimeters, square meters, square whatever, okay? Because you've got an area. So that's why the radius gets squared. It's for that exact purpose, right? So if you think about area being in square units, you use the formula with the square in it, and circumference is the other one. And of course, you can look up the formula in the data sheet. But if you have it in your memory, if you can remember it, then do it, because then you don't have to spend the time to go and look it up. Okay. So on our diagram here, right? Let's uh, put on the radius, okay? Which therefore means if I go all the way around, that's two pi r, that's my circumference, yeah? Now the other reason why I wanna mention it here, uh, the circle being special, not only does it have its own formula, but it also kinda of has two formulas. Because sometimes you don't know the radius, or you're not given the radius of a circle, you're given something else. What well, might be another measurement? Diameter. Yeah, so instead of just half that, from the center to the circumference, you get the whole measurement across. So if you get the diameter, what's the relationship between the diameter and the radius? The diameter is two times. The diameter is double the radius, right? So you can see I actually have double the radius in my circumference formula, right? So instead of writing 2 pi r, you could write, or 
I'm going to substitute instead of 2r, I'm just going to write the diameter. Let's call that d. Okay. So instead of 2 and r, I'm just going to write d. So either of those are fine. Uh, and obviously you'd use whichever one based on whatever information you get presented in the question. OK? 